when you do a new project, something very easy to do, very simple. We have this uh, circuit here. This is a TDA. 2003. According to the data sheet from uh, ST Microelectronics, this uh, circuit have a output power around 10 watts. It's commonly used in stereo amplification or in car radio. The IC can have uh, around 3.5 amps of maximum current. Low distortion, low crossover distortion and many others. It's a classic AB amplifier. This is nice, that means uh, pretty good quality. The voltage is between 8 volts and 18 volts and uh, the maximum output power of 12 volts it will be for 1.6 ohm loudspeaker and this is really interesting because you see the loudspeaker resistance it can be really really low so this can provide enough power for a home uh, let's say a subwoofer i think this will be more than enough so i already have the board i already planted the the parts in here what i have to do now is to provide a kitchen it's very important so this is pretty large let's hope we have to be really careful not to touch with any other parts this the, the metal part of the sink we have the power supply here plus and minus this is my uh, how can I say my security measurement I have a diode in series so even if I'm making a mistake about you know having uh, the polarity of the power supply in the wrong way the circuit is not hurt I'm gonna use this power supply here and this is a really strong power supply it can deliver 15 amps I can raise the the voltage to around uh, 15 volts all we have to do now is to connect the loudspeaker here this is the output of the lights loudspeaker minus plus and of course to connect the power supply let me start with the loudspeaker right here ts100 on 350 celsius that's more than enough and of course my trust there is influx there we go and then another one here for the output the schematic as you see in the uh in the picture it's a very popular one it's nothing special here to say we have a, a high cut filter here in the output we have a 2 ohm resistor and a 0 0.1 microfarads fixed capacitor and there is nothing else all these electrolytics are 470 micro okay and by the way i forgot about this one is the same story 470 or 1000 it's okay absolutely now let me have some wires from the power supply to the amplifier but why not let me use something to have a real idea about how much current are we using in real time like this and there we need something like this so this will be the output before connecting this to the amplifier let me have the power supply on there we go 11.96 volts let's see which is plus and minus white is plus and the other one is minus so we have the ground here and that's the plus like i said the power in is going through a diode here we have the input we need to plug that to something but for now just let's have a first test before anything else let's check again loudspeaker it's here it's on plus here and minus to the ground what do you think shall we put it on let's try about power on anything burning not yet and we have something smelling no let's touch the input we normally should have a kind of broom and we have it everything is under control it's working perfect now let me have this cable to connect a sound source now have to find the ground usually the ground is the green one and we also have the shield is this one here and that's very nice the shield will be touched with the ground but normally 
the shield it's the ground itself so the isolation you know the plastic or whatever it's going away and the temperature you see now it's clean and ready to be solder it in place ground ground left and right i'm gonna have a left and right together because this is just a mono and we are good to go power on and i'm gonna play some music nice very good low frequencies well i can say it's success the amplifier it's working this is nice now let's have some tests about the the power and the consumption and stuff like this okay so we have a very low consume here zero two and what kind of music is this oh no problem with, uh, with the temperature here it's pretty okay barely hot of course the loudspeaker is not so great so it's just a test loudspeaker let's raise the voltage too so we have 11.9 here okay so we have 15.2 volts can't believe it barely takes 0.3 amps let me see how much voltage do we lose on the diode i think i think i'm gonna get rid of the diode almost one volt well i may say it's working now let's have some tests about uh, like i said about the power 15 volts of dc in the amplifier we don't need this anymore of course the power is off now okay really interesting measuring instrument this is measuring impedances and a very low resistance and it's perfect for testing the real resistance of, of this loudspeaker and we have 4.04 ohms so we can count on 4 ohms by the way this is of f nirsi of nirsi why i'm insisting on having a standard testing tone yeah i think this is the maximum we can hope for this guy from this guy so we have a 3.54 volts rm S on 4 ohms and we have around 400 milliwatts okay let me change the, let me have 100 hertz now now it's getting hot kind of but we have the same voltage 352 okay nice all I can say that the little amplifier it's working it's doing the job let me check the temperature way above the limit it's looking pretty good by the way i don't need the references here i am really pushing it now. on 15 volts we have 0 3 amps what about now the diode it's barely hot no problem with that let me see how much current do i have on the diode and <laughs> the it's gone now i just push i push the phone <laughs> it doesn't anything bad over there 0.35 and the same rms 3.3.27 well for this voltage it's the maximum it can do 2.2 it's so bad that it can't you know because of the volume here it's going in steps so i'm almost almost at the limit 3.27 somehow for one 100 hertz and here we have a uh, almost 15,000 and it's working there are two 3.03 a little bit higher now it's cutting and we went to 4 volts LMS nice but, but this is 15 okay oh my So this is 3 kilohertz now. Wow! It's really going great. Look there. Oh. 
Oh my. Ow. Ouch. Three. We have 4.3. Almost. 3.43. Okay. Oh, that's enough. My ears hurt. My ears are bleeding. Temperature. 33 degrees. Yeah. Nothing special. Okay. Music. Yes, this is a successful experiment. So the little amplifier, it's working, it's doing the job and we can uh, count on it for uh, a few watts. Let's make some mathematics here. Oh, so that's the formula for calculating uh, the power. So it will be the voltage squared divided by the resistance. Okay, so let's have, let's count on 3.55 volts times equals. And this one divided by four and we have around 3.15 watt. That's how much we could ask this guy to do. Okay, so it was some frequencies we reached four volts times four 16 divided by four and that's around four watts. This is real life power and uh, this is how much you can expect from uh, from this amplifier. That was all for today. I hope it's useful. If you have any comments, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to write them down. Please subscribe. It will help me a lot for my future projects. That's it for today. Don't forget to have fun and be safe. I'll be back soon with some new project. Bye bye. Oh.